Welcome back to Warrior Football. I'm Brady Beaton here for a very special edition of the Locker Room Report. Joined, as always, by Coach Paul Winters. Coach, let's start with a very nice win over Northwood. Offensive explosion, Myron Harris, record-setting day. 20 carries, 327 yards, 4 touchdowns. I mean, there's not much more to say. It was unbelievable. Yeah, let's talk about why that happened. Um, first of all, you got to give credit to... Uh, Landon Mitchell, Lane Potter, Reed Thompson, I think the three of them were 97, 99, and 98 on their grades. They were fantastic. I thought Reed Thompson ran faster and better than he has all season. It was incredible. Just watch the tape. Um, so up front we were really good. And um, the other part of it that helped us was, um, I can't even think of it now, I'm sorry, but uh, Chase. Churchill was 13 of 14. Mm -hmm. You know, when your quarterback completes 95% of his passes, um, everything's working. But Myron was fantastic, and uh, uh, he broke tackles. He he made great decisions and and ran hard. Um, yeah, I, I've talked about him for so so many days now in a row. I'm done talking about <laughs> how well he did. How much of a cathartic experience was it? Because it's a season where it seems like it's a bad break, a bad break, a bad break, to have everything just come together on one night and for everyone to play really, really well. Had to have been a good uh, feeling in this locker room. Had to have been a fun weekend for you guys. Yeah, I think everybody just kind of took a breath. Like, oh, okay, we can do this. Yes. We're really good. And um, I think it was, it was perfect timing um, leading into our next two games and, and – and I think the guys have a lot of confidence now. Well, let's get into those next two games because they're two, uh, I'd say, very important games, two very talented teams, two top ten teams in Grand Valley this week, starting off in Ferris the following week. But Grand Valley this week, rivalry game. Uh, you won the game back in 2019, broke the streak, have the shoes. You know you're going to get Grand Valley's best effort because they want that back and they're not going to be sleepwalking through anything this week. I don't think they were sleepwalking through that game in 2019. <laughs> I, so. I never said that. I'm just letting you know. You know you're getting 100% of the Yeah, there's the no question. Effort. They're a good football team, great football team. Um, great offense, great defense, great special teams. Um, the best team that we have played to this point, without question. And um, they've proven it. And we really are excited about the challenge. Obviously, we will be huge underdogs. Um, we have underachieved in a lot of ways this year, um, but we, I think that we're still a very good football team that just hasn't yet done it completely and consistently, uh, so we look forward to it. Who are some guys that are going to need to step up? I know you mentioned Chase Churchill this past game, probably had his most efficient game. He's starting to come into his own. Obviously, Myron did what he did. But who else do you want to see step up and who needs to step up if you want to keep, uh, win this game and beat Grand Valley? Well, there, there's no question that the guys who have to step up are on defense. Mm -hmm. um, you, you look at uh, um, Drake Reed, who had played exceptionally well last week, and, and Dalen Peaks at the corners. Um, they're always going to be challenged by Grand Valley. They've got great receivers, and they, they throw the ball downfield quite a bit. Um, that's going to be a big deal for us, those guys playing well. I think as, as well as that, we, you look at um, Jalen and Sean Banizak and Arnold, um, the pass rush is going to be very important. We get Damani back this week. That's going to be important stopping the run. Mm -hmm. um, Julius Wilkerson didn't play against them last year. Julius is a great player who, who's going to make a difference, and I think Tuck Hayden. So we've got a lot of guys on defense that I think can be impact guys, and I think offensively, um, the 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 big thing, Trevante Davis, is probably the best receiver they'll have seen this year. And you combine him with Jesse Pruitt and, and Nick Potterack um, and Kendall Williams. We, we have some weapons that I think that, that can step up. You mentioned the defense, uh, 2019, seven sacks against Grand Valley, a big reason uh, why you came away with the win. Playing them at home this year at 1 o'clock, first home game in the afternoon, does that change anything? Does it a quicker process? Do not have to sit around? Or is it much to do about nothing? Well, I think mentally it, it does affect you a little bit. And I think the first time 
um, we played well this year, really, and played a complete game was a one o'clock game at Davenport. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think our guys, whether you play at six or at one, they're going to be ready to play. It's senior night. You don't have a ton, but you have some seniors that stuck it out, uh, came back after a year off. What does it mean to them, and what would it mean to you to send them off with a with another great win? Oh, it, to them and to me, it would be just incredible um, because they've been awesome. Um, they've been great leaders. They've been great teammates, um, great young men to coach, and you know they deserve to leave on a positive note. How much credit do they deserve for kind of keeping this ship going through some rough waters earlier in the season? They deserve a ton of credit because the locker room has never split up and, and you, you don't hear complaining. Um, you always hear a little bit, but the, the, the majority of this football team has stayed steady because of those seniors and those upperclassmen. Well, Coach, final question, and I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask this. Here we go. Familiar face coming <laughs> back. No bulletin board material, but a little extra flair to this game with a familiar face staring back at you on the other sideline. Yeah, we recruited some of their guys. Um, I guess they're familiar. I really don't remember once they don't commit to us. Are you talking about some players? or what? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll take that as your answer, <laughs> Coach. Thank you. Um, good luck this week. Uh, hopefully back-to-back -back Warrior wins going into the final week of the regular season. Thanks for your time. All right, thank you. That was the Locker Room Report with Coach Paul Winters. I'm Brady Beaton for WDTK The Patriot.